for sale, vacant, closed, do not enter. Many communities throughout Aroostook and Washington counties have properties that are indeed for sale, vacant or underutilized because of suspected or known contamination. With the region's long history of industry and manufacturing, business often used hazardous substances and petroleum products in their day-to-day -day operations. There is a possibility the materials used then are now considered to be hazardous. They may have been inadvertently released during the course of everyday operations. Due to the fear of perceived contamination on the properties and the environmental liability risk, these properties often end up abandoned. These abandoned properties, because they are perceived to or do contain contamination, have ended up creating an economic strain on the communities as they are no longer generating property taxes and have decreased the municipality's valuation. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, defines brownfields as abandoned, idled, or underused industrial and commercial facilities where expansion or redevelopment is complicated by real or perceived environmental contamination. Mention the words soil and groundwater contamination or asbestos and lead abatement, and what would make a town or developer want to get involved with a property with so much potential risk and uncertainties? Many communities and developers are realizing that there are indeed tools in which to help remove the risk of the properties and actually become an excellent starting place for redevelopment opportunities. EPA developed the Brownfields program in 1993 in order to conduct environmental site assessments to determine the level of contamination on these properties in order to start the cleanup process by providing seed money in the form of grants and loans to communities to stimulate redevelopment and reuse of the brownfields. The economic benefits from a brownfield assessment grant can have a major impact to the rural communities located in Aroostook and Washington counties. The impacts can be long-lasting in terms of health, creating jobs, allowing small businesses to expand, increasing the tax base, and protection of the environment. The reuse or recycling of these idled or abandoned properties will reduce sprawl, encourage infill development, and invite new business growth into Aroostook and Washington counties, helping to produce a more diverse and robust regional economy. These abandoned properties may require cleanup before they are safe for reuse or redevelopment. In today's economic downturn, businesses have many options in where they might want to site a business, and communities need to be proactive when trying to encourage a new business to set up shop within their community. It is up to the community to plan ahead and get the sites assessed, cleaned up, and ready for redevelopment. If the land is already clean, businesses don't have to invest the time and money to do it themselves, which is a major draw when looking to site a new business. Redevelopment in Aroostook and Washington counties has transformed former manufacturing sites, gas stations, industrial properties, and others into community centers, parks, recreation areas, and provided opportunities for existing businesses to expand their operations onto adjoining properties. Each and every brownfield site is different. Physical characteristics, location of property, property ownership, site history, contaminants found during the assessment process, the community dynamics, and available financing and cost for cleanup all play a role in how a site is redeveloped. Don't fear brownfield properties. Redevelopment of a brownfield site can be a significant undertaking for a community, but it can also have an even more significant payoff in the end. These projects often benefit from pre-planning on the part of the community, which may include a brownfield site inventory of the community, a review of existing bylaws or ordinances, and some advanced visioning for the area in which a brownfield site is located. The project may seem daunting at first and may take a few years to complete, but brownfields are the first and best place any community can start working on economic development. By being proactive, the community has a much better chance of attracting new business.